for joining us today. My name is Tiffany Garcia and I'm a librarian at the San Jose Public Library. Today we will be making a rocket in honor of the recent SpaceX launch. For this activity, you will need a plastic bottle, a pair of scissors, tacky glue, black construction paper, uh, white paper, preferably cardstock, but construction paper will do, a ruler, a pencil, and a marker. First, get your plastic bottle and make sure to remove any labels it might have. If you plan to test out your rocket to see if it can fly, I would recommend having the bottle open side facing out. And here I'm just taking note as to where it would end, so make sure to make the line uh, where the bottom ends. And get your ruler, and you want to make sure that it is even on both sides so that once you cut it, it will not be uneven. So I'm doing an estimation here as to how long that space is. And then I'm going to go to the other end of the sheet and make sure that the line is marked where it needs to be. Now that I have at least three markings, I'm going to align them and draw a line across over all three of the little dots I made. And now I'm going to get my scissors and cut it. Now I'm going to place my bottle over it just to see, make sure it's exactly the size that I want it to be. And remember, I'm having the bottle open side sticking out a little bit. You'll see why later. Now I'm going to get my tacky glue and add some glue around the sheet. It is best to add some glue on the edges. One over here because that's where the bottle is going to be touching the sheet. I need to peel this off. <laughs> yeah, tacky glue tends to dry, so I'm peeling off that hard piece off. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some glue onto my little sheet here. And remember, I uh, probably want to make a thin line, not a ton, just a little bit because this will be squeezing out, and maybe some lines over and over again around the sheet just to make sure it stays in place, it doesn't uh, shift too much on the bottle once I'm trying to wrap it around. I'm just uh, leaving this here for a few seconds as uh, the glue dries just a tiny bit. That way it uh, settles very nicely on the bottle. It's like a thick kind of glue if it dries for a few seconds. Now, placing my bottle at one end, and make sure to position it so that it looks even on the end of the bottle. And slowly and gently start rolling it. Now make sure to uh, squeeze this on, you may have to hold it in place for maybe about a minute just to make sure that the paper doesn't try to unwind itself. Press it down, smooth it, make sure there's no bumps and that the end uh, of the bottle is covered. Now 
After about a minute or two, you will be ready to continue. So now that the glue has dried, we are going to make the bottom part of our rocket, which will be the um, black construction paper I'm using to wrap around. So here, uh, it looks like it's going to be about two inches, uh, maybe two and a half inches, but I want to make sure to leave enough space so that the cap itself can stand. So once we wrap this around, we do not want the construction paper to be the thing that the rocket stands on, but the cap itself. So here I'm measuring, it's about two and a half inches, so I'm making little dots by measuring it to one here at the end and as you saw I did one by the where the bottle was and now I'm going to do it at the opposite end uh, do the same exact size about two and a half inches and now I'm going to draw my line having made those marks so I'm mat al aligning the dots I made now I'm going to cut uh, my black construction paper piece uh, using that line I just drew. Now similar to the white paper I did, um, I'm actually going to add some glue onto this black paper so that I can wrap it around the bottle. So here I am taking my time to find the exact alignments because I'm matching up my cap here so that I can start rolling and hopefully once I finish rolling it will stay straight. It won't be in an angle. The sheet will not go twisted around the bottle. roll the black construction paper around the bottle. It may want to go in an angle, but try to make sure it goes straight. And here again, hold it for maybe about a few seconds to a minute. Just try to make sure it stays on, it doesn't try to undo itself. But before the glue dries, make sure to do a test run, make sure it could stand on its own. Now the next part is to make the top cap that will go on top of the spaceship. Now you can uh, do this freehand, which is what I'm doing. I'm basically um, getting a strip of paper and what's left of my uh, construction paper that I was using for my spaceship body. But now I'm going to make it into a cone. So I'm adding some glue on the corner there. And then I am, as you see, I ha already have a pointer right there in the center and wrap it around and try to squeeze that pointer so that's tightly closed and hold the sheet in place. Another way to do this uh, in a much more um, formal way is to actually make a circle, a big circle maybe about three inches to the center and cut into the middle of the circle and 
then you'll be able to fold it around to make it a perfectly even cone. But here, as you see, I am doing this just by freehand, by making a simple cone out of a strip of paper and keep trimming it until it is even all the way around. Now that I'm satisfied with my cone, as you see here, it is even on all sides and it will stand nicely. I am going to get my tacky glue and add it uh, close to the edge of my spaceship, not the cap, uh, but the spaceship itself, just on the edge where the cone will stay. And now I have it on and it's been dried for about a couple minutes, so I set it aside. And now I'm going to work on the bottom part of the rocket. So now I'm going to cut uh, some strips that are about uh, one or two inches. I'll try to get them similar size. It doesn't have to be perfect though as it will be inserted into the already made black uh, circle wrap on the bottom of the spaceship. So as you can see here, each strip's about four inches and about uh, two inches thick. And uh, just using something to wrap it around so that it doesn't bend in, I am using this marker to wrap it around. Um, right now it's just tightly, but uh, I am going to undo it, so don't worry, it won't be as tight. Just to give it its shape. And now I'm going to make it a little wider and uh, practice putting it inside. And as you see, the top part will be bending in and squeezing in, but uh, remember, we wanna keep the bottle cap, the opening of the bottle itself, uh, sticking out further than the rest of the uh, black strips, or at least evenly, to make sure that it can stand later. So right now what I'm doing is just adding some glue onto the closed flap of the uh, black construction strip. And now I'm just squeezing it closed for a few seconds. And now I'm going to add some more glue on top uh, where I plan to insert the engine nozzle, which is what this part is supposed to be for the spaceship. Now because I plan on uh, trying to make this thing fly, I am going to take the cap off, but if you do, Make sure that the bottle is dry. If it's not dry inside, then make sure to put in maybe a piece of a paper towel inside. And squeezing this in. Now, you can do this as many times as you want around. Uh, I'm going to do this about uh, two more times to have three engines. But you can insert as many as you want as you can fit into the uh, spaceship structure.
Now remember to make sure that all of these engines are being pressed up high so that when you place the rocket down, it will be able to stand on its own. Now that you're done making your rocket, you can decorate it however you like. You can use colorful markers or um, you can even print out some logos if you like. But for me, I'm going to draw uh, space at F9 USA onto it with a black marker. And now you're ready for launch. I hope that you will take this opportunity to try to fly this rocket. Please look in the description box to see other links to other creative and movable spacecrafts, and I hope that they will inspire you. Thank you for joining me and the San Jose Public Library. Please take a few minutes to fill our program survey. For a complete list of other virtual programs, please visit sjpl.org forward slash virtual programs. Also, don't forget to follow us at, at San Jose Library on Facebook and sign up for their newsletter at sjpl.org forward slash e-newsletter to stay informed of all things SJPL. Have a great day.